At this hour, the ABC News town hall is underway. President Trump and George Stephanopoulos, the president, taking questions directly from uncommitted voters. No questions off limits. And it comes amid this pandemic as the U.S. now nears 200,000 American lives lost. 49 days until the election and our chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl, from Philadelphia tonight. Tonight, President Trump is taking questions from uncommitted and socially distant voters at our ABC News town hall meeting in Philadelphia. Topic A, the coronavirus. Student Johnny Powell asked him this question. If you believe it's the president's responsibility to protect America, why would you downplay a pandemic that is known to disproportionately harm low-income families and minority communities? Yeah. Well, I didn't downplay it. I actually, in many ways, I upplayed it in terms of action. My did you action not admit was very to it strong. Yourself, saying yeah, because that you... what I did was uh, with China, I put a ban on. With Europe, I put a ban on, and we would have lost thousands of more people had I not put the ban on. So, that was called action, not with the mouth, but in actual fact. We did a very, very good job when we put that ban on. Whether you call it talent or luck. It was very important. So we saved a lot of lives when we did that. There were holes in the ban, and the European ban didn't come for another month. Well, they were Americans. I mean, the holes in were if you have somebody in China that's an American citizen, we had to let them in. The president is campaigning as if the pandemic is a thing of the past, summoning large crowds of supporters packed shoulder to shoulder, most not wearing masks. In an interview in Nevada, he said he wasn't personally worried about getting coronavirus, but didn't say anything about the threat to his supporters. Aren't you concerned about getting COVID, though, in a close No, I'm not concerned. What about I'm more here? concerned about how close you are. Because, <laughs> Sorry about that. Because you know why? I'm, uh -huh. I'm on a stage that's very far away, uh -huh. and so I'm not at all concerned. Joe Biden is back on the campaign trail, too, but in a very different way. Today, holding a roundtable with veterans in Tampa, Florida, participants sitting at least six feet apart. Biden slammed the president for not being up front with the American people about the virus. False promises, not leveling with how tough things are going to be. The American people have never been able, never failed to step up to what had to be done when it had to be done. But that's not happening now. And Biden hit the president over the report in The Atlantic, denied by the White House, that he called war heroes suckers and losers. Nowhere are his faults more glaring and more offensive, to me at least, than when it comes to his denigration of our service members, veterans, wounded warriors, the fallen. Florida may be the closest and most important battleground of all. Michael Bloomberg is spending $100 million to help Joe Biden in Florida. And Donald Trump knows this is a must-win state. The Trump campaign has spent more in Florida, David, than in any other state. All right, John Carl, our thanks to you tonight. And as I mentioned, the ABC News Town Hall, the president and the people, a national conversation with uncommitted voters tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern, right here on ABC. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.